The Kadinia Cultural Centre has, over the past 12 months, brought us some uh, wonderful, wonderful talent. There's been great entertainment both on the stage, in the morning melodies and much, much more. April sees the joining together of two wonderful artists, Hilary Henshaw and Will Conyers. Hilary has performed as a, a singer, an actor in music theatre. She's been on cabaret, television, multiple roles in Annie. She's been in Neighbours. This lady has done everything. She's even done cooking. <laughs> and Will Conyers is with her too today. Is not only an outstanding performer, but he's a teacher, he's an educator, he's a muso and one hell of a nice guy. And uh, I think I've got Hilary first on the line today. Hilary, a very good afternoon to you. Hi, Lee. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, on this moist day. And uh, But no, really well and looking forward very much to the performance at Cardinia. And Will's sitting right next to me. Yes, I'm playing with the duck. Uh, you're, uh, yes, you're playing with the duck. In other words, the black and white keys of the piano. No, 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 the wet weather. Oh, you're, play- you're ducking the weather. Yes, no, no. <laughs> oh, you're fast, Lee. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I've got to do something here because I want to have a, a little chat to Hillary. But, Hillary, yes. I want you to, to come back with me for a moment, back in time. Can you come back with me? Certainly. Would you mind doing that? And, Not and at all. You don't mind doing a, a bit of time travel? Have you ever done time travel before? We do it in the show. Every time you do the show, we time travel. You time travel, do you? (laughs) Oh, my goodness. (laughs) How about that? Oh, no, do you know, I'm getting butterflies in my stomach. I bet you will. Oh, that was just such a wonderful and exciting time of my life. We just arrived in Australia. I was 12, just turned 12 years old. Yes. And that was the very first time I was on television. And I'll never forget it. And in fact, you know... It's and television's never been the same since. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, uh, yeah, it was just it was just incredible. And yeah. uh, thank you so much for playing that. I'm, I feel all, oh, all you two really excited. Well, 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 you see, guys, in those days, we used to call it HSV7. Yes. And uh, Sunny side up, Bill Collins, and you both remember Bill Collins, I'm sure. Of course. And, he, was, uh, he was such a nice person, and his wife, Robin. Yes, Robin, too. so kind. I mean, I was a, a child, mm. and they were both... Still is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm happy to own up to that. You just use the Avon cream more often, don't you? Oh, well, uh, just, just a tad. <laughs> but, um, they, no, they have so... a cement truck outside every theatre. Oh, <laughs> that's not nice. Well, I'll get to you later. But, um, no, it was just a wonderful time. And they were both so supportive of a, a little girl on that show. You know, yes. It was lovely. Yeah. Yes. Well, as I said in the intro there, Hilary, you, you've done just about everything. Music theatre. I think music theatre is one of your favourites there. But uh, you, you've done the whole spectrum, television, stage. Yeah. What's your favourite? Have you got a favourite? Look, I think musical theatre was always probably the place where I loved to be and I felt very much at home. But then I can't say a favourite. As you say, I've been fortunate enough to work in so many different genres and each one of them has has given me joy in a different way. I love operetta. I did some opera and particularly operetta. I love operetta. I love Gilbert and Sullivan. And um, I adore singing Piaf, which is a very, you know, and as I get older, of course, not that, um, not that I'm very old, of course. But as I, as the years go by, I love um, performing jazz as well, and, and still PF, and mm. and you know. So yeah, I, I don't know that I've got a favourite, but musical theatre was always very close to my heart. Hilary, how did you start out of the business? I mean, to say yes, you were twelve. Had you always been a singer before you arrived in Australia? Were you a little kid who sang over there? Yeah, um, I did a lot of performing in England, but always for. Um, just you know in a a non-professional capacity because in england at the time you weren't allowed to work professionally until you were 12 years old Uh and we boarded the boat to come out two weeks after i turned 12. so um i did a lot of singing at at old people's homes and charity concerts what she's saying is she was legal by the time she got to australia she was legal at the age of 12. yes (laughs) I still am, happy to say. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, as soon as we got here, yeah. and um, we realised that maybe there was... A, and it was... It, actually, it's a funny story. My mother 
who was wonderful, not a typical stage mother, but wonderfully supportive and a real asset to me at the time. She said, oh, would you like to sing on television? You can sing on television here, Hilary. I said, oh, yes. So we had a look, and we'd only just been in the country a few weeks. She ran up, rang up Channel 7, and the person on the switchboard said, oh, yes, well, we have a couple of children's shows. You know, we have Happy Hammond. That's and right. Before we, she went any further, my mother said, my daughter is not wanting to sing on a children's show. No, I'm talking about a problem. And she apparently said it with such authority that the receptionist said, oh, oh, well, okay, then I'll, I'll put you in touch with Alf Fargo. And like. yeah, that was that. H- Hillary, did you... Mother s- like daughter, really. Uh, oh, I see. H- Hillary, did you sing at the Tele Theatre or in the uh, Channel 7 building? The Tele Theatre. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a great space, wasn't it? The old theatre oh. and... <sighs> Incredible, incredible. In fact, you know, the whole day you started off going to the um, the place where they recorded the whole show with the full orchestra live. Yes, and um, they recorded, and then you had a then you went to the tele theatre and had a little bit of a rehearsal in front of the camera, yep. and then it went live to air on mm. the Friday night. So yep. it was just an incredible day. Yeah, I had a few experiences like that, which most people don't know about. But I, I did some ABC work many years ago, back in the sixties, and we used to have to go to the ABC in Elstonwick, and we'd yep. uh, record on the Saturday all the vocal singing, and then on Sunday you'd go along, and then of course you had to mime the whole jolly thing. And in those days, it went onto uh, on, onto film, not onto tape, and it was on film. So if one person was out of sync and the camera camera hit you they'd stop and start the whole thing all over again right. and then for the half an hour program it used to take us something like well the whole of the day we'd get there at six in the morning and finish about seven at night for a half an hour show that's right yeah very different days but wonderful days uh, absolutely yeah. Will, yeah. Will, Will, can I come to you for a moment? Um, look, yeah, I've got... I'm, I'm, still, I'm still awake. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all right, Will, no, no, Will, I'm used to with Hillary. Will, Will you, you and I are on Facebook together. We've got many mutual friends. Uh, one of those is Blair Edgar, yeah. whom uh, I know that... Okay, you, all you, right, the secret's you, out. You, you, you know as well. Um, tell me something of, of your background too. How did you get started into the acting and entertainment business? Oh, look, it was the entire uh, entire thing was surrogate, really. I... I I was a very, very good boy to a very musical father and mother, uh, and I became a St Paul's Cathedral chorister and very quickly became one of the head choristers there. But, um, you know, there was always this, this isn't what I want to do. And so when the opportunity came along to um, firstly sing with um, Colleen Hewitt on the uh, quintuple platinum single of Day by Day when she was in Godspell, I jumped at that, and that that just mum and dad then saw, "Uh uh-oh, there's a fire in that valley, and... um, it really didn't change um, from the age of six and a half, and um, for, I'm very, very fortunate. I've had one of those careers, you know, certainly during the late 70s, 80s and early 90s, I walked from job to job, you know, which is very rare for anyone these days. And, um, you know, I've worked as, you know, performer, um, singer, session singer, um, pianist, of course, I've conducted musicals, I've directed musicals, um, and... Uh, yeah, I've been really, really, really blessed. And, you know, then you get chucked in the wheelbarrow with on the road with Hilary Henshaw and you just, you know you've arrived. It's a highlight. Come on, it's a highlight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can't wait to see you two down here. You're so funny and uh, and you, you, you have that mole between yourself and you've got that jelly there that's going to bounce off each other, I'm sure. Oh, well... <laughs> well, Hilary wasn't ready for quite the bagging that I give her on stage, but it works well. It works well. No, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, and it gets it all off my chest, Lee. You know? <laughs> I, I, I don't mind doing it publicly at all. Yeah. <laughs> this is well, I'm a tough cookie, but the show is so full of um, laughter and fun anyway that it's just great to be able to sort of really um, experience that that joy and, and humour and fun with the audience. Well, look, 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 it was a, it was, I think the show was a great idea. Just, you know, we look. We think of the, when we think of women who have made us laugh. We might think of Bette Midler and Joan Rivers, but when you think about women who have made us laugh in song more specifically, yes, that that I don't think that's actually been tackled before. And we we almost go over, just over a hundred years worth of of artists, mm-hmm. and um, it, there's something for everyone there. And sometimes you know the audience knows who we're talking about. Sometimes they don't, but you know we cover people like Beatrice Lilly and uh, Joyce Grenfell and uh, uh, Bonnie Bryce. Yes, 
Blossom Deary. Like yes. She was, a, she was a, a very funny lady. Let me stop you there on Blossom Deary. I love Blossom Deary, and yeah. and if you play some of the Blossom Deary stuff, people won't even know what you're talking about today. I played it on air here two weeks ago, and I think she was the most wonderful, wonderful performer, a great artist, a great singer. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, look, Hillary lies all the way through this show, you see, Lee. And she thinks somebody's been sending me flowers. Well, no one, we all know no one has ever sent Hillary Henshaw flowers. Oh, well, you don't need to tell everyone that. Well, no, no. Um, no, and the thing is about these comedians, yes. um, that many, quite a number of them were beautiful singers. Like I've had people saying to me, you know, what are you doing a, a song about humor for when you're a singer you know you're, you can be a serious singer and I said well but there's some beautiful songs in this show because some of them were beautiful singers and they did sing gorgeous music and like um, Blossom Deary mm. she sang gorgeous songs in French you know she lived in France yes. for um, a long time that's where she formed her group the Swingle Singers Yes. and so she's got beautiful try saying that with your teeth out <laughs> she's got beautiful <laughs> versions in French of well loved songs I mean so there's a a broad range of musical genres in this show, although it is a funny show, you know. So and you've got Noel Coward as well as uh, Stephen Ston- uh, Sondheim, I see, too. Yes, yes. So yes. it's quite, quite a variety of what you guys are going to be doing. Plus, uh, you'll have all the, I suppose, the audience involved, the laughter going on. Y- you two are just funny on air, let alone being on stage. Oh, oh well... <laughs> I don't know about that. It's the weather. Well, you wait till you hear the replay of this on Facebook tonight. You can have a listen back to it, Will, because this this goes on Facebook. So uh, you can have a look at the Facebook site tonight, and okay. and it should be up by then. And uh, you'll hear how funny you really were. I mean, it's, it's going to be a great a great day. This is April, isn't it? That you're coming in. April Wednesday, April the sixth at ten o'clock. The audience are treated to a lovely morning tea. I know. And then at eleven o'clock. The show happens. Do you know what? I know all of those things because I go to them. Oh, good. Yes. yes. You know. So you partake of the morning tea. Yeah, the the scone. The scone we have. And and the cup of tea. Oh, lovely. Yeah. We'll we'll pop around and see us before the show. All right, we'll do. We'll do. You'll be backstage. Yeah, I'll come backstage lovely, and say hello to you. Yeah. And the beautiful Mark Fawcett, who, as you know, is the manager there now, yes. which is the most wonderful thing that has he ever is. happened. Absolutely. To the Cultural Centre. Yes. He asked me, he said it would be wonderful and he's very happy for me to also mention, because it covers your area, that we will be performing the show in Warrigal in September. Wonderful. So that, that, yeah, Westgate Land Arts Centre in Warrigal it. on um, the September the 15th. The 15th. And they're refurbishing the theatre at the moment. So that'll be lovely yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to that one as well. And Will, but you're going along as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I wasn't there to navigate Lee, she'd she'd arrive in Timbuktu. You know. Will, Will, what, what was your piano training? My piano training, um, Melbourne Conservatorium. Fantastic. Um, first study piano, um, piano, second study voice. Yeah. But of course, when you're a good sight reader, <laughs> you spend most of the time accompanying. Singers or, um, or or fiendish flautists and violinists. So you know, I've, I've, my eyes have seen a lot of repertoire, but now I'm just a hackley. Well, look, I wouldn't say that because last year, if my memory is correct, you were um, in the education field and uh, teaching a lot of kids. Was it Wesley? I think from you, wasn't it Wesley? No, no, CBC. CBC. Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, but I also teach at the tertiary level, and that still happens now. You know, I go in as a guest lecturer very often. You know, to specialise in music theatre. Good, and, good, and and all that sort of thing. So. Yeah, I, and, I think it's invaluable what you people do because you pass on your knowledge. Well, you've touched on a, a bit of a, a sore point for me because a lot, of, a lot of the young ones really aren't interested in what's gone before because the, the digital age has made everything so immediate. Um, you know, when I used to have the luxury, as Hillary had, of sitting in a rehearsal room watching a Nancy Hayes work or yep. a Jill Perryman work or yes. any of those greats and learning your craft by watching and keeping your mouth shut. Um, oh, God, I'm on a roll, aren't I? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but it's true. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it was a wonderful era of heritage. You learned so much in the rehearsal room. And um, so I, I think, you know, I bag Hillary enough. That's why we get on, because we do come from a similar... Uh, similar heritage of, of knowing what is good and what is not, and um, yeah, and, and, and this this show is good. Well, see, I can, I can a funky little show, but it's good. I, I can hear the chemistry between both of you, and it's it's going to translate beautiful to stage. I can't yeah, wait to see. It's called hydrochloric acid. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he uses 
on his skin. You wait till you see that. It's looking wonderful. That's what it is. No, but I think just coming back to that, the point you make is very good. And it's very true that, you know, times change, but certain things never change. That's right. And it's that um, expertise of people like Will and, and so many of yourself who have been working in the field, you know, for... Well, I, I wouldn't like to tell you how many years I'm celebrating in professional show business. This year. Uh, I'd say it's 15. Too many. Too many. Yeah, that, those, 15. Those things don't change. The things we learned then are exactly the many of the skills are exactly the same as the kids still need and are working with now. So, yeah. Hilary and Will, I've got to go, but look, it's been wonderful to talk to you. Can't wait to see you on the 6th of April. Uh, it's 10 o'clock at the Cultural Centre down at Warrigal on the 15th of September. Did I say uh, 6th of April, I meant to say? So 6th April, of April 6th, yes, at 10 o'clock and Warrigal the 15th of September. That's to it. both of you, I wish you well. I will see you when we're down there and uh, can't wait to see you both in performance. You sound so funny together. It's, it's just like I've known you for years. Oh, thank you, Lee, and it'll be a pleasure to... Have we met before? Hilary, I think I've touched base with you many years ago in my 3AK or 3AW days. Yeah, and, uh, well, and you've stayed away ever since. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I haven't brought the flowers. <laughs> oh, are you the one sending me flowers? <laughs> I'll be able to give you a big hug on, um, on the 6th. See you on the 6th, guys. Take care. Thanks for talking to us.